We are back and today we will be putting the final touches to our industrial style room. I'll be showing you how we've transformed this metal drum into a bed pedestal and we are going to add colours called Comfort's Blue, Don's Wash, Shorty Story and then also Sheriff Stone to complete the paintwork on this drum. Just see how it's done and we are just going to enjoy. First very important step. Whenever we paint on a surface that has received furniture polish or oil or say for instance bathroom or kitchen wall tiles or a surface like this where I'm not completely sure whether the surface is grease free I need to clean it properly using lacquer thinners. So you apply it, you wipe the surface clean well, wait 20 minutes and only then do you start painting. We are now going to start to paint. The colour I'm going to use for the drum is Comfort's Blue. Now when working with charcoal, the lovely thing about charcoal is the fact that all our paints are packaged in glass. We try to promote green and to be eco-friendly and to upcycle and recycle. So I give my jar a quick shake, unscrew the lid, and on the inside, you will find either a cellophane paper or a wax paper. Everything is packaged with a hand. And the cellophane or wax paper just makes it easier for you to open. Comfort is a beautiful colour. It's also named after Comfort, our head tinter. And I'm going to start to paint. As you can see there is rust over there. I will simply paint on top of the rust if you are concerned and don't want the rust to grow any further. You can apply a rust converter first to stop the oxidation process. I will simply paint in time the rust might just reappear but I'm not going to worry about it seeing that this is an industrial styled space. While we are waiting for the paint to dry, we are now going to continue with the three drawers. We'll be painting them in three different colours. We'll start with Don's Wash, then Sheriff Stone, and then Shorty Story. Simon will be assisting me to take the handles off, and then we'll continue. Next I'll be adding some stencil work to the drum just to give it that final touch of an industrial style look. So I'm going to apply my stencil over the drawer and the drum, make sure it fits well, a nice cute look and I'll be using some masking tape to secure the stencil. I'm going to make use of a stencil brush to apply the paint onto my stencil. So very important is to ensure that your stencil brush is dry and clean and then you are going to work with very little paint. The less paint, the more successful. So I dip my stencil brush in the paint and then I remove any excess paint. So I use a cloth, make sure it's nicely evenly distribute it onto my stencil brush and I work in circular movement. So I secure the stencil with my free hand, work in circular movement and apply my stencil to my recycled drum. I am not going to seal the outside areas of the drum but I will use our glaze to seal the top. This will be the area where a coffee, coffee mug will be standing and where you need ex extra protection. 
but that a little bit later. My first stencil is nearly complete. And now for the big reveal. So I remove my masking tape, remove my stencil. In the same way, I'll be adding more stencil work to different areas on the drum. Next, I'll be using an 80 grit piece of sandpaper and start sanding to create a nice industrial finish. We have now reached the final step with our recycled, upcycled bed pedestal drum. What we are going to do is we are going to apply our glaze only on the top. The reason for this is to make the surface water resistant and UV resistant. So I'm going to show you how to apply the glaze. It's very easy. In my measuring jar, I have 30 mils of water. I'm now going to add 100 mils of glaze and the ratio is one part water and three parts glaze. I have a damp cloth in my hand but as you can see it is just damp, no water can be squeezed out. You don't want a soggy cloth. I'm now going to dip my damp cloth that has been dampened with water in my glaze and water mixture. Next, I'll squeeze out any excess glaze mixture. I will now evenly wipe my glaze and water mixture onto my painted surface. I will wait 48 hours before I start applying anything on the surface I've just glazed. Using chalk or paint is fun and anything and everything can be upcycled and repurposed. I hope you've enjoyed our chalk or paint room makeover. Let's see how everything comes together. We hope you've had a great time in seeing this timeless industrial look come together and we look forward to seeing how you've used these techniques to create your own works of art. If you'd like an already completed pedestal like this for your own room, you can email Nadine at chocopaint.co.za. Visit thehomechannel.co.za for a full list of choco paint workshops and more. For stockist opportunities, email nadine at chocopaint.co.za. Happy painting!